Sunday's going to be an emotional day. Uh, coach said that he'll take a moment uh, to look, you know, look up, but he's not worried about the team maybe being overamped. Is that a concern for you at all, knowing what's going to happen on Sunday? Uh, well, it, it's the start of a new season. I think we need to look at it like that uh, for what it is. And it um, doesn't matter that it is the opponent we played in the final of the MLS Cup last year because last year is last year and this year is a new season. But I mean, when the, they unveil the, the banner and the, and the crowd and the celebration, I mean, there's going to be a lot of energy. Do you worry uh, at all or is it just that's going to be awesome and it'll just get us more pumped? Well, I think our, our fans are the best in the league and, and they, they get us up for every match, whether they're unveiling new TIFOs or... Um, you know, just singing songs about us. I think they're always getting getting us up for games, so I think the energy is going to be great, uh, regardless of which game it is. Do you, it's kind of uncharted territory for the Timbers to be defending a championship and for the city of Portland to have a championship to yeah. defend. Um, but you've been on a team that's won an MLS Cup before. Well, how does it change that next season after winning an MLS Cup? Uh, well, you definitely have a target on your back for sure. I think that uh, when you're uh, uh, when you, once you've won a championship, I think um, it elevates you a little bit in terms of expectations and just in terms of um, how other teams perceive you. So I think that uh, um, you know teams are going to play us a little bit tougher this year, and, and that's something we have to be ready for. Do you think by winning that championship, kind of the organization took a step forward and just in how much respect uh, teams throughout the league give this organization? Uh, I'm not sure. I, I know that uh, when we won it in, in 09, I, I think in 2010 we, we still got zero respect and it just seemed like you know teams looked at us like it was maybe a fluke thing that, that we won the championship and we had to prove ourselves in, in that year and I think it can be similar to this year as well. I mean, we, we did go on a very good run at the end of the season last year, but were we that consistent during the year? Probably not. I and mean, could we be better this year? Uh, maybe make a run at the Supporters Shield. I think that maybe that's something that uh, we can be looking at ourselves to do. Hey, Liam's obviously been out, and Coach says he's probably going to play so How, how um, will that, you play so many games last year, will it be like just stepping on together again, or is there an adjustment period? Because you haven't gotten to play next to me at this preseason. I mean, I, I remember last year playing my first game with Liam, and it was pretty seamless just in terms of playing with an experienced center back, a guy who is positionally sound and who wins everything in the air and, and communicates really well. It, it was really easy for me and I think that's why we had such a good back line last year is because he's such a good leader and such a good communicator and it's easy just to jump right back in with him. With, with the, I mean, he might be at left back, we don't know for sure. Right. Um, but um, with kind of not having a set back line in preseason, Caleb said that was the one thing he would have liked to have a little bit more time with. Does that make a difference for you? Do you think that's going to be a challenge to overcome uh, in the first initial games? Oh, well, we'll see. I, I think that the good thing is we've got some experienced guys who, who can play uh, left back and play center back. and. That the moves we've made in the offseason has been, have been good to, to bring in guys who understand what it takes to, to win in this league and, and to be good defensively. And, and of course, there's going to be growing pains with, with any back line that has new new key elements to it, and we're just going to have to, to work on that. You mentioned the supporter shields. Have you, has there been talk, either officially or just among yourselves, about setting goals like that for this season as, as a group? Uh, well, I, I think that at, at the start of every year, I think that you have every single goal in your sight in terms of U.S. Open Cup, MLS Cup, Supporters Shield, and I think those are um, things you strive through, strive for throughout the year, and and um, they can either come to fruition or not, and and uh, you have to have them, you know, in the back of your mind for sure. So I think that uh, all those things are out there for us, and that's what's exciting about starting a new year off. But is it something you talk about in the locker room, or do you just talk about the? First game. I mean, is there like, you know, like high school teams in football get together and say goals? Do you guys do stuff like that, or is it? You know? Well, I I think again, it's um, it's I think it's all almost understood, you know, with the group that that those are goals of ours, and and that any time you have an opportunity to win something special for the club and for the city, uh, you're going to go for it. So I think that the Sports Shield is one of those things. Uh, Open Cup, like I said, would be uh, another phenomenal piece of silverware to, to, to get in our trophy case. Caleb said that in past years you guys have maybe averaged about 1.5 points a game, but that's come with maybe not doing so well in the beginning of the season, doing a little bit, a little bit better at the end. Is there kind of an expectation of trying to go to off on a better foot at the start of this year? Yeah, the the I think every season has its 
different kind of cycles and and I, I can't explain it from one season to another on teams I've been on uh, some teams start slow and, and they end well some teams start on fire and and they, they end terribly some teams are great middle season and I think that's why the consistency thing for us is is so important because if, if we can just have the good performances with the goals with the shutouts and with the results we're going to get into a situation where we're going to be on top of the league at the end of the year.